Now for the first part of the question, we're asked to express 2 cos 3x minus 3 sine 3x in the form r cos 3x plus alpha, where r and alpha are constants, r is greater than 0, and alpha lies between 0 and pi upon 2. And we've got to give our answers to three significant figures. Now questions like this crop up a lot in the papers. And the quickest way of doing these, I feel, is just to remember the identities for this kind of expression. Those identities are this collection here. And I've shown in earlier tutorials on my website how these are proved. And they're all basically exactly the same. That when you've got an expression like this, that r turns out to be the square root of a squared plus b squared and the tan of alpha is b over a. And in the example that we've got here, if we've got 2 cos 3x minus 3 sine 3x, then this is identical to the form that we've got on the bottom here, a cos theta minus b sine theta, only in this one the theta is the 3x. So I could write that this is identical to a cos 3x minus the b sine 3x. And you can see that a corresponds to 2, so I'll just say where a equals 2 and the b value, you've got to be careful here, b is 3, not minus 3, the minus is taken care of here so it matches up with that, so the b value is just the 3. So knowing that, we can say that therefore r equals the square root of a squared plus b squared, so that's going to be 2 squared plus 3 squared, so you've got 4 plus 9, 13, the root of 13. Normally we'd leave that like that in most of these kind of questions, but in this particular one they've asked us to give it to three significant figures. So if you did square root that you end up with 3.60555 and so on, which to three significant figures is 3.61 to 3SF. So that's R. And when it comes to working out alpha, alpha is going to be the inverse tan of B over A. So I'm going to go for that. Alpha equals the inverse tan of the B value, 3 over the A value, 3 over 2. Now you've got to be careful here because we are in radians up here. Okay, It doesn't say, but we understand that to be radians because it hasn't got degrees written there. So if you haven't got degrees written there, then by default it's going to have to be radians. And the pi over 2 kind of gives a bit of a clue there as well. So make sure your calculator is in radians mode. And if you do inverse tan 3 over 2, then what you should find you get is 0.98279 and so on. So alpha to three significant figures is going to equal 0.983. And that'd be in radians, okay? So you could write radians there if you like. I'll put rads for short and say that that's given to three significant figures, 3SF. All right? Now, as I say, this is the way that I prefer to do questions like this. I find it so quick, okay? There is another way that you do see. It's just basically going back to first principles where we write that this is identical to r cos 3x plus alpha and expand this and compare coefficients and do a few equations. But at the end of the day, it reduces down to this. So as I say, it's much quicker to do this. If you do want to do it by first principles, then that's up to you, obviously. But um, to see these proved by first principles, just go onto my website as I say, and look under the tutorials for them. And the shortcut is just this. And you should find you get the full marks if you work it out like this. It's a lot quicker. Okay?